shut that down. Let's see if that helps it at all. Oh, let's see our activity monitor here. Task manager, let's see what our task manager is saying. Oh, our CPU is pegged. Let's see if we can, oh shit. What the hell is crushing the CPU? OBS, <laughs> yeah, OBS is crushing it. Windows updater, get the fuck out of here, Windows. It's on the task. Let's see if that makes things a little bit better. This might not work. It might be way too... Audio is beautiful, but the video is getting choppier. That's what I figured is that... Hold on, let's... let's. Yeah, now video is completely like just fucked up. Uh, let's see. Services. Windows. On the task. Vanden on... Let's see if I can pause Windows updates. We're going to start reducing some uh, uh, overhead really quick on this laptop. Cranking our display settings to 800 by 600. didn't do anything. Let's see here. Let's see. Windows update. Is that an LTT hoodie? You know, baby. You know it. I thought that would be funny. Uh, This isn't gonna be any fun if it's just completely crapping. Let's end that. I won't get the fuck out of here, Windows updates. Okay, I think I'm gonna to have to end stream. Jim, it's a laptop. Not a PC. You know it, SRT8, bye bye. Uh. Yeah, so OBS is taking like half of the CPU. And that is just dragging it because the entire because the entire like machine is a CPU. So tell me how bad this is. It's looking actually like it's cleaning up a little bit on uh, I've actually got my work laptop showing the stream with this chat. Um, someone could someone uh, cash in uh, like a Lumia stream like thing. Uh, uh, okay, cool. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, someone could like cash in. Actually, you know, I can cash in stuff. I can do that myself. Why am I even asking? I can do. The sound doesn't work, but hey, okay, I figured it out. I don't know what I did. Audio is off from video, but it's not choppy. That's okay. Okay, cool. Try to do too much scale back on the toys. Yeah, so I have everything running on a uh, older laptop that I got for 
Ooh, nice. That I got for Mrs. Mana to play Stardew Valley on. I uh, got a, a Walmart special. It's like a Motile uh, laptop. It's their in 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 store brand. Um, it's not a bad little laptop. I got it for like three hundred fifty bucks. Uh, upgrade the memory on it. Like you could open it right up, and the memory slots were still available. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you could upgrade the SSD, which is pretty badass on a, on a laptop. So I upgraded. It. It's it's not a bad little laptop for like three hundred fifty bucks. Uh, four hundred twenty five dollars after all the upgrades. It's it's a badass little guy. So uh, yeah. So what what Mr. Man is wearing today is a uh, LTT store hoodie because uh, we're. Mana Tech Tips, totally ripping off Linus. Um, SRT shirt, because I love the demon. Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, I already showed you guys the helmet. You guys can redeem that shit. Uh, the helmet in my room with... Uh, let's see, here we go. All right, let's let's go back up to chat because chat was going on crazy and while well, I was fixing shit. Okay, uh, so we got Swipey vibe. We got I am hardcore Harry. What's up? What's up, Swipey? Uh, we got Elder. We got Iron Blue. What's up? Uh, let's see. We got Strider. What up? Uh, baby big ol' ham. Uh, Katie, how's it going? Uh, Iron Blue with some adorable emotes. Uh, and we got 30 Dark 20. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, the, yeah, is the power armor one with the voice changer? So anyways, we got some crazy stuff going on. Uh, we've got the main shooter today. Uh, we've actually got some, uh, a nifty and neat. What? Old Bev behind her back now. Nah. Never say nothing about nobody. Oh, we ain't about to go on cinch. Nice. As a golden rule, you gotta treat your elders with respect. Yes, treat your elders with respect. Because I'm stubborn as fuck. <laughs> I'm stubborn as fuck. Why um, am I like this? I don't See know. again, I'm just I'm just doing things that I have no business clicking on right now. <laughs> oh no! Um, I will grind your bones to dicks. Why? Bro. What is my obsession with dicks right now? Bagel. Calm down, Tiger. He's singing now. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Uh, no, in Spanish. I totally, totally. He's legit singing so right now. Off. Yeah, yeah, I should have probably disabled the clips. Uh, it's still looking good. Whatever I did, Dude, the laptop it's is now I don't like, get it. happy and is chugging away. So everything looks Dude, pretty good. Dude, I don't get it. I mean, there is some choppiness, but that's not as exactly. Dude, I don't get um, it. I'm so confused why I'm playing this well. So we, we've got some updates. Um, we're running yeah, stream on a crappy machine. We're, we've got our main shooter going. I've got my iPhone camera. We're going to see that later. That's actually pretty badass. And... So that, oh, that's friend! Oh, new friend! Friend! Oh, friend! Please be my friend! Oh, new friend! Um, so we're going to be upgrading today. Uh, we got our memory kit here. We've got, this is DDR4 2x16. Why uh, is this rat's whole rotosity out? Uh, 32 gigabytes. Put that away, man. This is a Wendy's. Sora. <laughs> that's a Wendy's. Get out of here. Lieutenant of the whole, yeah, she does. Always gets a shout out. So we got our, we've got our memory kit right here. Some sweet ass uh, Corsair uh, Vengeance. It, it's low profile and it, it goes at a good speed. It's at 3200 megahertz, which is the most that my motherboard will support. So that's good stuff. And then because I sip for a Noctua, uh, I am a Noctua simp. Uh, because we're going to have to take off the CPU cooler. I also got us self some sweet ass thermal paste. And part of their thermal paste kit. You know, a little syringe of thermal paste. Come, come here. Don't be shy. What's cool about their thermal paste kit is that they also include some uh, Noctua branded condoms. Um, no, these are wipes to wipe off the old thermal grease. Uh, could you imagine, imagine going up to some like 
cheeky poo at the club and be like, hey, baby. Wanna party? <laughs> Not to, uh, keeps everything nice and cool. Uh, can you imagine? Oh, uh, we are doing some tech building today, Iron. Um, my desktop has been fucking up. And I think it was other issues that were going on, but um, I was complaining so much that Mrs. Mana just said, hey, get bent, just upgrade the memory. I don't want to hear you complaining anymore. Oh my God, make it stop. I love you, but seriously, stop. So I am completely out of my element today. Um, oh yeah, and we're also gonna, gonna see if we can throw on another CPU fan. Um, completely overkill onto my CPU cooler. I probably won't because this is just completely overkill. But then again, I really like overkill. Um, so on a more personal update note, uh, Mrs. Man is sick, she has the cold. So uh, yeah, she's she's miserable. She is completely down and out. Uh, so send us, send her some good healing vibes and uh, hopefully Hopefully, the rest of us don't get sick. And uh, Jack had his eye surgery yesterday. Um, and the vet said it went very well. And she's expecting him to make a full recovery. And unfortunately, um, when we got home from our road, tr road trip that we had, um, I noticed that Sasha had a big bump. Like a big bump right on her on her front arm and we took her to the vet today and turns out she has cancer uh we don't know how oh jack jack's the dog <laughs> uh so and sasha the dog uh she has cancer um we don't know how bad it is uh, they found the cancer on her on her you know leg and then when they were feeling around, uh, they found uh, another uh, another growth in one of her nipples that they won't know if it's cancerous or not um, because it's so small they, they, they'll have to remove the nipple <laughs> to do the test on it. So uh, we'll see how bad it is. Um, um, yeah, it sucks. Uh, she's... A, She's a good, she's a good doggy. We haven't even had her for a year, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll take it from, uh, from here and just make sure that, uh, whatever we do is not too rough because with dogs, you can't really explain to them like, Hey, I know the surgery is going to be terrible and you're going to be hurting all the, like for a while, but it's to get rid of your cancer. Like you can't explain that to dogs. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how bad it is. Um, so we'll hopefully find that out tomorrow. They have to send it to her uh, biopsy of her growth on her on her foreleg to a specialist. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. She's, she's a good puppy. But she's old. I mean, we got both of the, we got Sasha last year about, in June, uh, her owner had passed away and her brother, the owner's brother was taking care of her and was just doing a shitty job taking care of her. Um, my father-in-law bumped into him while he was walking the dog and the guy joked, hey, do you want a dog? And father-in-law was like, yeah, my son-in-law's looking for, and his family is looking for a dog. So, um... Yeah, so I was like, and she was just in rough shape. This guy did not do a good job taking care of her. Um, so we took her, and then we got Jack a couple months later. His owner had passed away, and I actually found him curled up next to her. Um, and some networking got him over to us. And yeah, we're, we're, just, we're just trying to take care of their advanced years, but... Yeah, that's what's going on in our household. So hopefully we don't get all sick and I gave Sasha on the, on the ride home. I took her to McDonald's and got her some chicken nuggets. So 
she was like, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but score. <laughs> but, uh, uh, my kitty had a sore leg last week and was limping all. Right? Yes, pets are absolutely family. Yeah. We, yeah, I, f I feel exactly the same way. And it's, um, it's a little rougher with pets because they can't really tell you what's going on and you're, you're really responsible for them. Um, but, um, let's go on to the CPU build. This is going to be a little like behind the scenes. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Strider. Yeah. Just as, did, was Kitty just like twisted it? Was like chugging way too much iron blue? Iron brew? You're iron blue. Please don't chug iron blue. Chugging iron brew, doing Scottish, like strong kitty cat. <laughs> strong kitty cat competitions, throwing throwing logs. Um, but let's get to the <laughs> group hug. Let's get to the main event. Uh, I keep on looking it over there. This is gonna be so like really behind the scenes weird. It's gonna be great. But here is my desktop. Let's see how it looks on camera. This is... <laughs> I landed on doing some Scottish dances. Uh, my Jack Russell. Oh, that's so... I'm sorry, soft tissue's rough. Um, so this is my desktop. Let's see. I I'm kind of waiting to see how it looks on camera. Oh, it looks terrible. Okay. Um, I'm rocking a, what is this? A Cooler Master Silencio case. Um, what I really like about this case, I might have to move a camera. It is behind the scenes. I might have to move a camera. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but what I really like about it, let's see, do I have anything that I can lift on it? No, all right. Oh, well, we're just figuring this out as we go, so I apologize. So what I really like about it is that, one, it's a very, very plain black case. I'm not much into transparent uh, cases, uh, the side windows. I'm not an RGB person, uh, which is funny because that, that I got going on back there. But it's kind of soundproof focus, so right on the inside... Uh, the door swings open and it's got some really good soundproofing foam right in there. But what's cool about it is in a lot of cases, we'll have a front panel like this, but there'll be no good side intakes. Um, there's a lot of case manufacturers that are guilty now of just um, giving, oh, we got this tempered front, tempered glass front panel with fans, but there's no venting, so no air can get into it at all. Uh, these have really good side ventilation, and you can always open up the door, or even take the door off. It's just held in by two Phillips screws. I've actually changed this location of the door from uh, opening hinging over there to hinging over here, and it comes with a great dust filter, which, I, uh, this isn't completely be amazing. Oh, hi, bears. What's up, handsome? Um, I did a little bit of spring cleaning, so it's not going to be as dirty as it was. I did it, the spring cleaning, before I, uh, decided to do this. But, yeah, it has, uh, it has good, um, uh, um, dust filtration because I have this computer set up in a pure just two fans up top and then back here we got ourselves one knock to a fan for exhaust and that's it I don't have uh don't have anything on the top uh an I ITX motherboard this is a micro ATX case so that's why there's uh, four PCI slots, but I have an ITX board, so I only have one uh, PCIe slot. And then, because I am a silence simp, I have a Be Quiet power supply. But let's go down, get into the nitty gritties of these. Oh, 
forgot to uh, mention that what's also cool about this case is you can always pop off the top held in by clips and it comes with a filtration sleeve that I never use but it comes with a filtration sleeve so you can always throw in a top mounted radiator uh, some exhaust fans up here I don't know why you would do that in this case that's just a mistake this case I have built it built the system inside of it to just be as silent as possible so let's open this bad boy up. Convertible PC. It is a convertible. Open up the top. And another cool part about this case. I love this case. Love it. Is thumb screws. Yeah, yeah, thumb screws. Captive th thumb screws. They don't go anywhere. They're captive. Oh, uh, cases can be quite expensive. Um, I got this off of Amazon Renewed for like $80, which was quite reasonable, I think. Um, you can you can spend a whole lot of money on cases. Uh, you can get easily um, $200 to $400, and there is one uh, case manufacturer Oh my goodness, I forget their name. But it's really fascinating. It's a completely passively cooled computer. It's like $500. And you can't put a graphics card in there. It would get too hot. Way too hot. Um, but yeah, let's open up these side panels and let's get in this bad boy. Uh, one side panel. Oh. And because I'm not a douche, I am going to live on camera, not even gonna hide it. Not even gonna hide. That is my side panel cable management. Oh, it's dusty as fucking man, that's gross. That's gross. Should probably take those out and clean them. <laughs> yeah, Harry and I are definitely opposites on that. He's uh he loves his RGB. Let's see. Ooh, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, no, we can try this. We can try this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, this is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be either super cool or super lame, but we're gonna try it. iPhone camera. Let's see. Let's see. I gotta wait for my computer to catch up to see how the uh the the image looks. This is gonna be cool though. You guys are gonna be like, oh man, man, uh, your shit's so cool. Yeah. iPhone screen. I know, pretty cool, right? Um, you guys are getting really like intimate on like everything going on. This is, this is cool though. This worked really, really freaking well. This was like an $8 app. Top down is a litty. I think it's cool. And thank you. I, I thought I really tried hard to do uh, okay cable management. Um, one thing I don't like about this case is that the, the IO on the top right here, you can see I've got, what do I, I've got two USBs, um, a combination of audio input output jack and an SD card reader reset button and power button so, so get out of there my convertible top is not uh, not popping oh, don't break on stream <laughs> be embarrassing uh, I don't like these so much because uh, they're not detachable they're kind of hard put. Yes, uh, I got the Elgato app. It is, it is baller. I highly recommend it. Um, it's really cool. You can even do sound off of this guy. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Um, 
I highly recommend it. Think it's great. Uh, pair it with a uh, stream deck on your side and shit. You're fucking professional. Um, and yes, RGB gives you gives you a total advantage. Um, okay, so that's so that's this side. Oops. Let's see. Over here, that camera. And then now let's take off this other side panel, which is the sexier side. It's like my back side. It's the sexier side of the two. Oh, geez. Okay. Nothing important's falling out. And then you guys can see what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about. I've got, I've got a small board. And again, I didn't touch anything. None of this. None of this is... I haven't modified any of it. Do you know anything about Yeti mics? People do love the, uh, people do like their Yeti. Backside is always the best side. I'm using Elgato Wave, uh, Wave Mic 3, I think it is. Let me go back to chatting. Uh, I'm using the Elgato Wave 3 because it's USB. Um, uh, I didn't want to start going down the route, uh, route of X XLR, I think it is, uh, which is a little bit more audio professional. Um, cause then I'd have to get additional equipment and I'm just like, I'm, I'm just not knowledgeable enough yet. Um, I know there, I know 30 dark 20 is super knowledgeable about, um, about music. Um, so definitely hit up, uh, 30 dark for some, for some good, uh, uh, uh audio equipment, um, for being lead. <laughs> I'm not, I went as easy as possible and I, I, it sounds good. It definitely has a lot to be desired. Uh, especially if you want to get into more advanced, like audio mixing and stuff, I wouldn't get the Elgato wave mic three or whatever it is. It's good for basic streaming and uh, conference calls and stuff. But let's get back into... Oh, Iron Blue's also in sound production. What up? We're making connections here. Um, okay. So what we got here, unedited... I didn't change anything. As you can see, my CPU cooler, what is this thing? It is a big chonky boy. It's a knock to a, knock to a chonky boy. I forget the exact model, but let me, this way it's a little bit more entertaining for y'all. Um, knock to a chonky boy. I forget the exact model number, but it's the, it's, it's a big bad boy. Uh, I think it's one of their, the biggest Noctua ones that, that you can get. It's got two of these, uh, I think this is 140 millimeters. It looks 140 millimeters to me. Um, I mean, small guy's hand for, for, <laughs> for scale. I don't have a banana for scale. Uh, but yeah, these look like hundred. No, these are these hundred twenties. A little. Bit. It is a NFA fifteen. If someone wants to Google that for me, a Noctua NF A fifteen. I've got. So this this Noctua cooler comes with two of them. I got that for 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 freebies. Um. So <laughs> this, this bad boy is, this cooler is so big. I had to take the exhaust fan off the, off the back. And I mute, and I took, there was the, both fans that were up here. There was one intake, one exhaust. This cooler is so big with this additional fan that I took off the exhaust, put it up here. So now I have, let's see this, how this will work. So now I have the two fans up here doing intake. 
And this second one here is essentially just pushing air for the GPU. And this fan is providing intake to the, to the main CPU. Oh, that looks really good. I am very, very happy with this. Mega airflow action. I'm all about that airflow, um, and I'm, a, I'm I kind of lean more towards the uh, the air cooler side of uh, side of the world. Um, my previous build, I had an all in one, but performance wise, I don't really do any overclocking. I'm all about I'm all about that stability. Bye bye. So I I normally just keep everything stock speeds. Let's, let's see where the camera's at now. Let's make sure that we're good. Don't want to just give you guys crotch shots. Alright. I think it should look a lot better now. Okay. Um, so, what, obviously you guys are like, hey, brah, I don't see any, like, how can I get to your memory? And where's the freaking motherboard? That's right. <laughs> the motherboard is super hard to get to. Oh, oh, and uh, Swipey, Swipey, this is for you, bro. You said you had some shame about uh, your uh, your your USB. Yeah, I have internal USB hub as well, my my man's. Um, it does it even hold in here? Um, my keyboard USB dongle, and I think this is my mouse USB dongle. So this is that's for you, Swipey. Don't feel bad. So let's before. Oh, and uh, see this dent right here. I got that from Amazon. Again, like I said, it's. I got this case for 80 bucks. It's usually for like 150. But uh, before you start working on a computer, I'm just gonna take off my watch too. Um, just touch the, the sides. I mean, you could always use a um, anti-static wristband and all that stuff. I think that's a little overkill for just basic consumer stuff. Just take, take your metal off of you so you don't... Uh, have anything on. yeah just oh you're having some usb um yeah try a different port and also disconnect other usb peripherals iron it could be that you're having some over over charge issues um, like I was, hence I got this guy right here that plugs into the motherboard on the, what is this? USB 2 on the U, one of the internal USB 2 header that wasn't being used to move some USB off of, off of the, the back of the motherboard. So give it, give it a shot. That would suck if it was the connector. So let's pop out, pop off this fatty, fatty RTX 2080. Yeah, USB is a, it's it's a pain in the booty. It really is. Um, so we're just gonna start unplugging things here. See, there's times like these, I'm really glad I have very small hands. There it is. There's a little, there's a little lever. Oh, I should probably unscrew the PCI brackets first. I'm a little nervous. This is the first time I've ever done something like this on camera or training wise. I mean, I've, I've worked at a help desk for um, 
all through university, I worked on a help desk doing desktop support and stuff like that. And that's where I started my professional career was also on a help desk. But I always, always was like behind closed doors, uh, never doing things really training people or doing it on camera. So this is a little, uh, this is a little intimidating. So I really appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, experiencing this fun with me. So I've got, I, I have this cool little toolkit that I bought for, I only had one screw in there like an asshole. I did only have one screw. Um, it comes in, there's a, an iFixit um, basic repair kit. I would recommend that over this one. I got, a, this was just a basic uh, screwdriver set that I got off of Amazon. Not the biggest fan, uh, mostly because of this lip right here. Uh, in some instances that gets in the way um, of uh, some holes depending on how deep set the screws are. So not a big, not a big fan of this set. I would highly recommend the iFixit set or, um, or Gamers Nexus has a repair kit available. I also recommend them because Steve from Gamers Nexus really knows his shit. And Linus Tech Tips is also um, coming out with a screwdriver. It's going to be like $70. <laughs> It'll probably be pretty good. Um, now let's go back to phone. So I have the bracket on screwed now for the <laughs> graphics card. And I, I loathe this. I loathe this piece right here for the the reference board, uh, reference GPUs that this is a 2080 because they still have the SLI connector right here. So you can always, you know, for, for all those people that are doing uh, uh, multiple GPU builds in uh, 2022, uh, it's right at, right at a part uh, where you'll put your hand to lift the card out. So I always think I break my card every time I do that. Let's just move that over for a second. And feel around here for there to keep the PCI card in. There's a little lever somewhere. I always forget where it is on this board. I think I found it. Oh, scary noise. It's okay. See, when I, uh, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to do this, I was really convinced that I'm going to break something on stream just because that's my luck. Look at how beautiful that is. I love the reference cards. Love the reference cards. Uh, SLI 3090s. Yeah, 3090 Ti's because uh, you got to compensate for something. Look how beautiful these reference cards are. Like, oh, just a gorgeous card. I love it. I love it. Like, partner boards are great because, you know, they can come with uh, overclocking already. They can, actually, let me take off my headset. This is getting hot. Uh, like they can come built in with overclocking or they can have more than just these two fans. Um, but I just love the way these look and uh, what's really neat with this build that I've got going on is that, ooh, this thing's kind of dusty. I'm gonna have to clean it out a little bit. Ooh, it's a little gross. Um, these are blower style, blower style cards. So these two cards right here act as uh, inputs or they, they blow the air in and the air goes straight out the back of the card. So with my entire computers, the airflow setup that I have, oh, how do I rate the Ryzen 5? I rate it quite highly. 
because that's exactly what this cat is rocking. I'm not as cool as Swipey Vibe with his sexy, sexy as hell Ryzen 9 that he's got in it and his computer because I am not as cool as Swipey. Um, I rate the Ryzen 5 as pretty high. Um, I think it's a fantastic CPU for the cost. Um, but man, the... The Ryzen 9 just it 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 I'm I'm blushing. That's what it does to me. It makes me blush. Uh, it is just so powerful, especially the 5950X, which is 12 cores. I want to say. Uh, is it? Swipey, help me out. The 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 regular. I want to say is 10 cores and the 5950 is 12 with 24 threads though 24 threads that is an insane amount of threads uh, for a um, for a personal machine that is just freaking crazy that means you can have 24 processes on that like taking off that entire I mean, it, get, it gets more complicated than that, but basically, like, 24 processes on, on one card, or on one CPU die. It's insane. Insanity. Um, let's go back to the phone. Okay. So, what's cool now, hopefully, hopefully the lighting's okay in here. Um, now we can actually see the board a little bit more, and you can see it. Tiny that board is in here because um, it's a my again it's a micro ATX case let's make sure that the camera's in a good good spot it's a micro ATX case with an ITX board ITX is the smallest standard board you can get there are there are smaller boards available um, I should actually start from the beginning uh, so motherboard motherboards come in like they they've basically become standard they there there are some um different flavors but the main consumer motherboards are ATX which is bigger it's um it's like the standard size motherboard it comes with I want to say like three PCIe slots, uh, which is what, um, you know, your graphics card plugs into is this connector right here is PCIe. Uh, so I think an ATX board comes with three PCIe slots. Um, it's big. It's big. It's big. You normally can get like, a, uh, nowadays can get like 128 gigabytes uh, of memory into it or, um, which is quite a bit uh and then there's micro atx which is i think it just lops off a pcie uh slot and you can usually only get up to 64 gigabytes of memory on those boards sometimes you can get a little bit more uh, sometimes you can get to 128 but 64 is usually the max and then there's itx which is a very niche um niche board size because it's so small um I was all into at the time uh, smaller is better because because I'm a small guy. Good things come in small packages, etc. No, I I had I, I wanted something small that wouldn't take up a lot of room on my desk. Uh, surprise, surprise! I ended up getting a micro ATX board, anyways. Uh, so if I had to do it all over again, I would probably go with the uh, ATX board just for the more space and especially extra PCI, just for a little PCI. Uh, slots on the board so that I could put in extra USB cards because that has been a constant struggle of mine uh, with as many USB devices as I have. Um, it's really quick. And I'm sorry if I'm missing any. Oop, hit the camera. If I'm missing any like point redeems or anything, I don't have that view really set up. So call me out. Um, so yeah, if I, 
And there is one more size of motherboard, consumer uh, grade motherboard, called EATX, Extended ATX. It's huge. It is a big honker beast. Um, it's just massive. You, you'll see that in enthusiast grade machines, uh, people running multiple graphics cards, uh, either because of professional workflows or because they have a lot of money and have always wanted a stupid powerful machine. Uh, those are the standard the standard motherboard sizes uh and this is where uh we're gonna do a cut to uh chris is gonna get really preachy uh, i hate the oems i hate dell i hate alienware uh hp those guys because they don't use normally use the standard motherboards um alienware is really really guilty of this they will actually put Cut, make custom motherboards and other components so you can't upgrade your machine like we're upgrading right now um so after like if if something breaks it just becomes e-waste like you can't just upgrade um your cpu because it has a it might have a specialized connector um I mean, if you if you have to buy a, um, I mean, if you have to buy from an OEM, you have to buy from an OEM. I, w I would recommend not buying from the likes of Alienware, HP, Lenovo, those guys, uh, and actually bring down. If if you have a bu you know, you have your budget. I would actually scale your system down and work with one of the system integrators like digital storm slash redux uh artesian built wink uh they're they're no they're no longer there um they use off the shelf components so then if you're like okay i want a 30 60 but i can't afford it from one of these system integrators they're usually a little bit more expensive I would recommend just decreasing or going on chat with them or something. Um, seriously, the the OEMs. If you have to, you have to. I'm not. I'm not gonna like dog anyone for for doing what you have to do. I would just highly recommend it not going with those guys um, for desktop computers. Um, upgradeability is the name of the game. Decreasing e waste. Um, all that good stuff. Okay, now I need a light up keyboard. <laughs> yeah, Redux. I I haven't seen their machines up close. I bet Steve from Gamers Nexus, huge huge fan of that channel, huge fan. Uh, I'll see if Steve has done a review on uh, Build Redux. I think he did one on Digital Storm, which is their parent company, and they're off. Fucking solid ass system integrator. I like them. Um, they're very pricey, but uh, they do a really good job and make sure that everything is off the shelf parts. So then you can upgrade uh, when the time comes and decrease that uh, that e waste. And because that shit's e waste is a serious problem. Um, okay, so now we've got our our board. So let's just start disconnecting. I already disconnected my USB 3.0 header, which is what goes on um, the connector on top of the case. Um, here's our big chunky boy 24 pin connector. This powers most of the motherboard. So just pull that guy. What's cool, I love this, uh, this power supply here. I, I hope you guys can see it on camera, but it actually labels ATX connector. Like, there you go. This is what it is. Like, I mean, you know, you'll know what it is because, you know, it, it, it looks like it. But they label it. And uh, the reason why these four little cuties are hanging off the side is some motherboards are only 20 pins. Mine's a 20 plus four pin. So here's my four little pins right there. Um, ooh, really nice mod. They don't use... No, shh. Uh, silent wireless one. Uh, uh, 
Okay, we're back to uh, manas, uh, manas talking about random peripherals and stuff like that. Uh, freaking Microsoft Surface Keyboard. Oh, it's already a little gross. Yeah, that's actually going to be dinged on my review. Um, huge fan of this Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, it's very comfortable, very ergonomic. Uh, it's got this Alcatara like integrated wrist. Uh, I got it. Uh, Amazon renewed again, uh, open box item for like $70. So it's pretty relatively expensive. Um, I'm a big fan of the ergonomic, uh, the feel, uh, the, the keys are very nice. Uh, big fan of it. Uh, but as you guys can see, there's already, already some slight discoloration right there. Um, and that's gross because that's like mana sweat and disgusting. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of just vomited a little bit in my mouth. That's a little gross. <laughs> I am ergonomic. Yeah, it's very nice, but that discoloration is already bothering me. Like, I'm going to have to see how easy it is to cl clean it. Um... Exactly, like gross. I'll blame my cat. Um, oh, and then, and then because uh, my other work keyboard that I use is uh, just your average Apple Bluetooth keyboard, not ergonomic at all. Uh, it has the stupid lightning connector to recharge because it's a pain in the ass and it's Apple and they're bitches. Um, and like, hey, Microsoft, you're cool as fuck. Guess what this is? Freaking battery door. Yeah, it just takes normal, like, off-the-shelf batteries. Uh, blame that cat. Do what you want. You're a grown-ass woman. Um, yeah, don't buy. Don't buy Apple desktops. They're, they're the word. The Apple laptops? Good soup. Uh, Apple desktops are like the epitome of like you can't upgrade like at all um uh, 30 dark 20 just hit it r right right apple's great but also so like that's perfect like i love apple like i i would if someone said hey hey mana you, you you want an apple studio i'd be like yeah bro give it here but i can't upgrade it because now it's a system on a chip um but I love their laptops, and I do love their desktops. You ever dabble in the keyboard world? Uh, shit. Shit. This is great. I got called out. Um, I've never dabbled in the actual building of my own, but I've got quite a few keyboards up here. Um, so... I do love my keyboards. Um, like, I've been using this one on and off. Uh, the Glorious Modular Mechanical Keyboard, 60%. Uh, uh, I think these are browns? Definitely not blue. <laughs> Definitely not blues. I think these are browns switches. Uh, like blue tactile, but not as clicky. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you think you can upgrade all of this with this fallout helmet probably not uh and then uh what is this one this is my keychron key eight with the blues yeah i know harry just like got aroused with that this is a good keyboard because it has a uh, bluetooth um uh, bluetooth and usb c so you can easily switch between like uh like iron blue, here you go. Um, this would not be a bad keyboard if you like the mechanical switches. Uh, instead of using the blues, get the uh, get browns, or if you're a linear person, uh, reds, uh, whatever keys are good for you. But the battery life's great. Uh, it has pretty good RGB uh, functionality. 
Uh, it comes with, uh, you can pull off the keycaps. And I, th I have this on Mac. Yeah, I already have this on Mac. Uh, see the command uh, button right there? Mac version. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use this at work again. Um, huge fan of this keyboard. Keychron K8. Um, let's see. Escape is red, right? It just, it. Oh, and I love that click. Razor green. Are they loud? Are they louder than blues? I've never really experienced them. I got another one coming in. Uh, I forget the brand, but it is a clone of the Apple Magic Keyboard. But it, you, instead of using the... Um, oops, forgot this, <laughs> this. I'm using my Mac right now. Uh, <laughs> don't press too many keys, Christopher. Uh, it One, it's going to be a black keyboard because then you know I'm a professional because it's black. Uh, it'll have RGB in it because that's sexy. But it also uses uh, optical mechanical switches. We'll review it when I get it. Whenever I get it. Non horror bagel stream, just listen. That's what those are? That's what that is? Oh my god, those bad boys are. Those are con clonky clonkers. I love it. Oops, wrong one. iPhone. Okay, now comes to the part of the stream that I was really, like, didn't want to get into because I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut myself. Uh, because these fins are sharp, and I normally cut myself. Um, so you can't really see it. Let me change the... My all-time favorites are lubed Gitteron Blacks. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a keep guy. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm into it, but I'm not, like, so in like super deep into it. I do appreciate a good keyboard and I do appreciate the uh, keyboard enthusiast because uh, if you're gonna be, uh, it's, it's, it's like any tool. If you're gonna be using something at, like for hours a day, uh, you might as well make sure it's nice, right? Um, okay, so we gotta unplug these fans. The less lotion you use, the tougher your skin gets. What's wrong with my hands? Ooh, I should have actually checked that like my nails were like, oh geez, that, that looks terrible. Because uh, <laughs> that's always something I, I criticize of people on videos. It's like, oh, you're showing your hands and your nails. You didn't clip them or anything. Um, so we unplug the fans. Um, I actually got to reach in there and unplug it off of the motherboard because the motherboard has connectors for the fans to connect to for both communication and power. So let's, and you can see already why a smaller motherboard is kind of a pain Smaller motherboard and smaller case is kind of a pain. You don't have a lot of room to work with in here. So let's pop off one clip here. Sexy ass hands. I'm like power on. Lubed up, boy, boy. I love myself some keyboard nerds. One, key. one clip off. Let's see, can I just... Come, come out, come out, you, you sexy bitch. God, I love myself some knock to a knock to a shit. Like, super confident company being like, hey, we're gonna have this super ugly color scheme, and people are gonna be okay with it. You know why? Because we're knock to a bitches. Hence, one of the reasons to have uh, no. Uh, no side, tempered side glass or anything so that no one can see my ugly ass fans. 
except everyone on Twitch when we upgrade. Oh, it's so tight. Oh, it's so tight in there. Get it out of there. I shouldn't. I, no one clip that. <laughs> uh, so now, you see, right here, we just have our CPU cooler on. Pink, uh, we all good. Pink! So it's just held in by two screws. Uh, let's just take a look at the back side here to make sure that there isn't like a plating or anything. No, that's usually just... Uh, yeah, that's just Intel boards now. Okay, that is what she said. Okay. So we have... Let's see. What else do I have down the floor here? Oh, yeah, I have my... There is also the CPU connector, the power connector is still plugged in, but I can't really reach in there unless I want to cut my hands all up. Now I regret throwing out, or I don't know where it is, but Noctua actually usually gives you a screwdriver for this. Now we just gotta loosen these screws up. You don't wanna loosen one side all the way. You kinda wanna do it evenly, you know what I mean? You'll feel the, the springs, it's just kind of give a little bit. And then, oof, let me need like something to rest this on. I really didn't think that far ahead. Oh, I got a notebook here. Sweet, we'll rest this right on notebook that I was keeping notes on for an interview. That I didn't get the job, fuck those guys. Okay. And now, oh, now it's still, still a little in. It's, it's being a little. Yeah, one of the things I don't like about this screwdriver is that it's super metallic. Uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, there we go. Left. The magnets in the tips are super strong, which is a. Uh, some people really like it. I, I don't need it to be too tight or too strong. Now, now my mind is just on tightness. Let's wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay. Still in. Lefty Lucy. Yeah, that's all the way up. Crocs in this stream. Oh. There you go. Uh, Carhartt, I think I'm wearing today. Come on, you bitch. Come on. That's falling I do not own Crocs. It's not coming out. Let's loosen these screws up just a little bit more. Maybe I, maybe they pop out a little bit. I should have like read the manual again. Loose, 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 loose. One of my favorite streamers, Sabi Spark, she does a, uh... <laughs> for the record, I don't like feet. She does a uh, sock reveal for channel points because she usually has like fun, fun socks on. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fucking CPU came out with it. 
shit. This could be bad. Well, I put in a good amount of thermal paste. You don't want the CPU to come out with it. That is not good. I thought I wiggled it enough to break the seal. Because the CPU has a ton of little tiny pins. Uh, sock reveal a thousand bits, I love it. Um, I just expect him to have Crocs now. I know I'm a Crocs guy. Uh, I don't see any bent pins, so that's good. But this is not where I wanted to be. Now I just gotta be very careful. Something I'm not good at being. Oh. Shit, I put in a lot of thermal paste. Shit, this is the opposite of a good time. Like, I'm not having a good time right now. there like what I was hoping for with all that wiggling is that I would I would break the seal but there's really not a thing as too much thermal paste as long as it's not getting too gooey um, yeah I don't like horror games <laughs> we're doing a or stream if uh, we get to so many points. Um, shoot. So now, here's my CPU, and as you can see, there is a lot of thermal paste. And it got into the pins a little bit already, which is not great. Let's just. plays poppy playtime um we'll get back to that i am mildly panicking i might have to buy a new processor i might have just broke my processor but that is okay well it's not okay it sucks but it is what it is takes dusty so let's just dust that really quick but now i can finally access my memory i really wanted my cpu just to stay in there because then i could just you know clean off the top get out of there you bitch i hope it's working but if it's not it's not it is what it is. It's got very tough clips in here. Shit, they're tough little fucking clips. There's a hole. Thank you, Sora. These are tough fucking clips. Are they clips? Yeah, those are definitely clips. So there's two clips, but there's clips that hold the RAM in. They are not moving. Ah, fuck. That hurt. So I'm taking my screwdriver, took the took the bit out. Trying to just push this bad boy down. There we go. So we got one memory slot out. Two 
two memory slots out. <sighs> so let's drop in our new memory module. And the thing with memory modules, when you put them in, you want to hear a scary click. That's how you know it's seated or seated. Is uh, there's an un it's an uncomfortable amount of pressure, and you will hear the click. Click, and. Depending on your motherboard, I only have the two slots, so it you know as long as I populate both slots, it doesn't matter. Uh, but some motherboards, if they there's like four slots, uh, you want one in every other uh, just to figure out which ones to put it into. Uh, just read the motherboard manual; it does matter. Uh, amnesias. Oof. Yeah, the only uh, caveat with uh, all my horror game stuff is uh, nothing about child loss. That is a no-go for this guy. If it has anything about child loss uh, or children as the characters, I am not going to play it. That's just a firm no. But anything other than that, I'm good. Like that little nightmares game that's like on the border for me. Okay. Now let's try to drop this back into the slot. And we might have some bent pins. So you don't want to push down on the CPU. You don't have to do that. You just move the hammer down. So on this, I didn't, because um, I, I, I'm freaking out mildly. Um, there's like a little triangle on the corner for AMD processors. You just match the triangle on, from the, on the CPU to the triangle on the board so i think we should be fine because the pins are okay they just got a little bit of thermal paste in between them we should be fine um you should always clean off the old thermal paste and it is a shiny amd ryzen 3600 big fan Alien Isolation would be a good one. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know why. Every, like, some sick fascination with children and horror games. Eh? No, thank you. Uh, I guess it's something like the juxtaposition between horror and innocence. Like, children are, you know, innocent. And just the whole juxtaposition between... Um, uh, complete horror and uh, the horrors of the game and the innocence of children. I, I get it. It's a good artistic choice, I guess. Uh, oh, no problem. Oh, no, no problem. I'm, I'm in a much better place than I used to be. Um, so let's clean off this, uh, this gonky guy. See that beautiful, clean surface again. Yeah, children can also be creepy, because again, the you you assume that a child you know a child is innocent and all that, and then yeah, innocence lost and all that good stuff. And then yeah, some of the stuff my kids say are, is just fucking creepy. Because, you know, they're trying to make sense of the world around them, etc., etc. Okay. So let's put some CPU. Hive mind and cage. Um, so, 
actually I'm gonna go back to chatting. So thermal paste is a hot topic in the PC builder community. Um, like, does it like you need thermal paste? You need you need the thermal paste to, to increase the connectivity. Um, you get, you can also get like thermal pads and stuff, but some people are like, oh well, well, do I need to spend a lot of money on thermal paste? Uh, what brand, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I mean, there's a lot of research around it, and yeah, you don't want a shitty thermal paste that's basically just like putting mayonnaise on on your on top of your CPU spreader, but you don't need to be spending like a bunch of money. Like I spent ten bucks on this little tiny tube, and this is way more than I'm ever gonna use in my life. Um, okay, maybe not my life, but this is still a pretty big tube, and uh, holes, um, and. Yeah, ten bucks for that and three little wipey boos. So yeah, not ten dollars. It's really good thermal paste. Um, Noctua, I simp for them. Uh, if uh, Noctua is watching, um, I'll have your babies. Now let's go back to the phone. Uh, and then there's also a bunch of people like, oh, how should you spread? It? And obviously, I like it thick. I like my thermal paste. Like I like my men efficient. And thick. Set this from one end. I like the X pattern. One end to the other. One. Bam. There we go. Oh man, I hope this thing powers back up. <laughs> Oh, it would be so sad. I'm right here, Daddy. Mm. Uh, Phasma. Oh, if it's a child ghost, that's not. That's not bad. Like if it's if it's the actual act of a child. Uh, passing that would be a little bit, a little bit worse. But thank you so uh, so much for really digging deep. Like I finally was able to watch Coco. <laughs> the other, the uh, couple months ago. So I, I'm in a much better place than I used to be. Um, and then while we have this guy off, should I? No, nah, no, nah, keep that. I actually have these two front fans. Instead of being plugged into the motherboard, they're plugged into a SATA power connector so they're always running at 100% um, oh yeah that's fine child demons is fine uh, so let's just put this right back on there yeah. oh I forgot to give you guys a good tour of the motherboard while I had that off um, I already kind of removed it, but like, see this, there's like this Republic of Gamers, like solid thing. That's, that's a, that's a hard drive underneath there, but I'm a jive ass turkey. It's already placed. I should have given, given you the full tour of the motherboard, motherboard. I am sorry. I got a little antsy in my pantsy. So let's just now tighten this. CPU cooler back down and one, two, three. I'm just kind of now that I've got these mounting screws going a little bit, I'm just going to do a quarter turn. Is that on yet? Is that one on? Side is definitely not on. Mm, I remember this being a pain in the butt the first time I did it. Shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go. Let's make sure this bracket gets on now. 
There we go. Okay, now it's on again. Yeah, no problem. I'm I'm enjoying it too. And you guys are seeing some candid like this is how <laughs> this is how mana uh actually works. I'm not cool and collected at all. I know you guys see that on stream all the time. It's not it's definitely not a uh, not an act. I'm definitely a big old goob. Oh shit. I should have plugged in <laughs> Should have plugged in the CPU fans first. That's gonna that's gonna cut my hand up. Like whoa. Ugh, it sucks so bad. Christopher. Christopher. Oh. It's a good thing I have small hands. Like, I feel bad for people with big hands when they have to work in CPU, like, cases and stuff. I'm like, that just does not sound fun at all. So you don't want to over-tighten. You just want to... Because you can... I mean, there's, there's springs in here to kind of prevent you from over-tightening. have amnesia on my steam i'll have to take a look if this computer boots again we'll take a look um so so what's kind of neat is that some people if they have strong enough fans in the front some folks have actually just ran these uh cpu towers completely passively meaning they don't put any fans on here because they have enough airflow coming from the front and then like an exhaust fan over here to take the heat out. Um, I haven't tried that personally. Um, I think I want to. I think I want to. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna see how this, this works. Oh, 2 a.m., oof, gross. No, thank you for hanging out, dude. I really appreciate it. Yeah, get some sleep, please. Um, 2 a.m. is way too early. Um, I'm usually a very sleepy mana by then. I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with us. and Hope you have a good, uh, good rest of the day. A good weekend and all that. Oh, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Let's plug that guy back in. Oh yeah, you're seeing that sexy elbow. Uh, so my USB 3.0 header I plugged back in. Um, my shame cable, just for swipey boy. Get that shame cable plugged back in. To let Swipey know, it's okay. Everyone has a shame cable. Everybody has a shame cable hanging out. Every once in a while, that shame cable just comes on out. Then you gotta plug it in, plug it in. Oh, thank you, Iron Blue. I really appreciate that. That's very sweet. And let's plug in the 24 pin connector again. And I will be very upset if the computer doesn't boot up. But if it doesn't, we will say, C'est la vie. on with our lives. As the French say, say la vie. Now let's plug back in our graphics card because the Ryzen 5 3600 does not have integrated graphics. 
Uh, and I love the fact that a lot of CPUs are no longer coming with integrated graphics because it would be just a waste of silicon for me because I have uh, a graphics card right here. It does introduce an entire area of failure though because if my graphics card dies, it kind of limits my troubleshooting because I don't have a spare graphics card. You need a spare graphics card then to uh, like troubleshoot that stuff. Um, so that's why having integrated graphics is kind of nice, but at the same time, this isn't going to be breaking anytime soon. I guess it could, but I don't think it will. I think we're good. I think it was the right, right decision. So let's just plug that back in. Right into the PCI slot. That, that just slot that you just have to wiggle it in. the approach gentlemen ladies definitely not sitting in there. So let's back it out, make sure there's no obstructions, make sure that everything's good, it's good, nothing's in the way, make sure that I'm sitting in properly. There we go. You guys might not have heard it, but it had a happy little click. It went click! And that was the, um, the thingy, the lever on the back going oh you you seated me i'm happy now now i just need to find where i put that screw oh there it is <clears throat> there's a screw to put this into the to secure it to the case. Doing this has made me really appreciate the camera setup and angles for YouTube video or YouTube channels like Gamers Nexus and Linus Tech Tips and people who are working on machines all the time. They, they really put in a lot of thought into their entire setup. Dude, this entire thing has given me anxiety. I think I, I, I would not be surprised if I fucked up my graph, uh, my CPU. Like I'm giving it a good 30% chance I fucked up my CPU. So now we just put this back in. Not a, not a super high probability, but still pretty good. Getting thermal paste in the pins is not a good idea, but you don't want to try to clean off the pins. That's how you break it up. Uh, don't... Yeah, that's like number one thing. Don't fuck up your CPU. Don't do that. Don't do it. And we are going to try. It's going to be neat. We're going to love it. We're going to try seeing how this guy here performs. Uh, 
Plus, I haven't been taking a breath since the CPU. We're gonna try what it what it's gonna operate like without the fans on. We're gonna see how hot this is gonna get. I'm pretty interested in that. So let's go back to the chatting screen. Yeah, you. Yeah, it was it was bad, Elder. My uh, my processor popped right out of the socket. Like it was really, really cement. The thermal paste was really cemented on, and I panicked a little bit, and I got a little bit of thermal paste on the, on the back. It, yeah, not not the greatest situation, but it is where it is. Um, if I fucked it up, I fucked it up. Mistakes happen, and you learn from them. And my uh, thing that I'm learning from that is uh, be more careful when taking the CPU heater off. Right, I'm going to go around and plug it in. We're gonna also plug, I'm just gonna be plugging in power and display. Oh, that's good. You guys can't see it. And there wouldn't be like a good, actually no, no. I think I can, oops. Oh, this camera really doesn't move down. But the lights are on the board. The lights are working. So the board itself is still operational. So we didn't mess up the board itself, which is always a good thing. Now let's just plug in this graphics card. Power's on. All right, the computer has powered on. Now let's go to display port two. I won't be able to see you guys chatting at me for a second. Oh no. It's on a reboot cycle. The BIOS screen is not coming up. Fuck me. Try sharing off. Turn it back on. Oh, maybe. Didn't cycle again, so that's good. That's usually a good sign. We don't have any graphic out, so that's not fantastic. But it didn't cycle the power again, so that's great. So let's go back to display port one so I can see you guys chatting. Uh, LTTstore.com. Uh, yeah, we're doing a test boot, and uh, it cycled a couple times. Um, I, you couldn't hear the fans going, but when it cycles like that, that means that it's trying to get to a boot, like the BIOS is trying to boot. Um, So that could mean that either the um, CPU is not seated properly, the memory is not seated properly. Um, we're not getting any video output, which is not fantastic. But it's not cycling, so we're just going to see. Maybe it's just the cable. 
Like I maybe I plugged it into a display port that it doesn't like to be plugged into. Because it's actually kind of temperamental about that on this card. For whatever reason. Let's see. Come on, baby. You can do it. It's off. Turn it back on. And cycling. Display. The monitor says, oh, I, I, I have something going on. It's not going to the... <gasps> hype! 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 Can I get some hypes in chat? You've probably seen a bunch of my shame, but we got BIOS. CPU fan speed error detected. Ensure that the CPU, I don't have a CPU fan in there. So I hit F1 to run setup. It should bring us fucking right to the BIOS, baby. Uh, so BIOS, uh, AMD Ryzen 5 3600 reads our processor. That's working fine. Um, total memory. 32 and change megabytes, etc. etc. It's only running at 2133. Um, I can fiddle with that. I just want to make sure that I can run um, into Windows. But <laughs> holy shit, that is how hot my processor is running. That's with the that's with the case off 45 degrees C. That is smoking hot for this computer uh for just running idle that is hot as fuck sweet all right let me go back to the regular max i can see you guys uh oh geez things are working crazy now um it's working i got tw uh 2k20 and haven't been able to play it because it let Huh. Only like 12 frames per second. That's crazy, man. Yeah, that is a very toasty boy. I don't know. That's a good one, 30 Dark. I would only get like 12 frames per second. I would make, again, you, you checked the drivers the other day. Uh, it might need an update to uh, whatever video, like if it's using DirectX, maybe it's using, using a prior version of that. Yeah, low on graphics. Um, shit, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna install these fans back in there. And you guys are gonna see me cut my hand open. Oh, there should be like a menu or something, 30 Dark, um, like a settings, and it should have something like graphics. Like if you hit, like when you're in the game and you hit like escape, usually that's how it goes. Um, like whatever main menu is available. Um, there should be something like that. And then like a graph, and then it should say something like graphics settings. Um, something like that. that, that should be where it's at and then lower the resolution from wherever it's at like a like a toggle down and then um if it says like like graphic like texture quality or whatever try to turn it down from like whatever it's at to another degree like from high to normal um yeah, there should be like a preset. I was making it way more complicated. Thanks, Harry. Uh, there's usually like presets just be like, oh, I only, I want to be on low settings. Try, try low settings. And if it works a lot better then then that was it. Um, yeah, usually one level down. And if that improves, and then if that improves it, then, then go keep doing that. 
Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I don't have to tell Mrs. Mana that I need a new CPU. She would not have been pleased. She shouldn't have been like, uh, we gotta pay for dogs, my man. We gotta pay for dog health care. Um, so, let's bring back the phone. Um, actually, phone would be at a weird angle for this. So, because I'm a goob, and I did it, and I put on the CPU cooler before I plugged in the fan pins. The fan pins are on, are wedged between this top panel and these relatively sharp fins right here. So... The dilemma becomes, do I pop off the CPU cooler again? We saw what happened last time. So I am just going to have to squeeze my hands down here and plug in these little pins. Look at those. Look how little that is. Into the board. And it... So what I should have done is have a checklist to go through everything that I was going to do and make sure that I plug this in before I have to do what I have to do. But because I didn't, right? Yeah, no, no, I'm definitely not touching anything. That this, this cooler is now permanently on here. Um, I'm never taking it off ever again. Um, when I upgrade my computer from next time, I'm just gonna replace this entire entire thing. I might pop out the graphics card and move it to the next machine, but this cooler lives here now. Um, and it, this board's nice because it is printed on these little tiny pins, which one's which, but I'm an old man Not as good as it used to be. I want to see it's. Oh fuck! Really? It's that one? Oh, that one's like right by the, right in the fins. Oh, that's gonna suck. Okay, how can I do this to avoid as much Christopher damage as possible? Uh, you guys don't want to see my bald head. Let's go back to phone cam. Down in, yeah, it's definitely buy new everything. Graphics card might be the only thing that goes over because a freaking 2080 Super is overkill. So let's see how good that is. Oh, that's pretty good. I should just be able to. Thankfully, there's a. Uh, a little cable management hole right here so I should be able to just like shimmy this down like give it a little shimmy shimmy and then use my fingers to just gently you know just gently guide it in you know what I mean just just guide it in you know put my fingers through this hole and just kind of guide in guide it home you know what I mean while making sure it's not getting moist, you know what I mean? You don't want your electronics ever getting moist. Oh, that is sharp as fuck. Uh, let's see, how am I gonna do this? And the top of the case is also riveted in, so there's no popping the case off. Just think of a easy way to do it. So we have it down here. And it's where it needs to be. Maybe if I come up. No, well, that's not gonna work. And if I don't have the 
CPU fans is going to yell at me every time I boot up. And that's definitely not something I want to do. That's not you don't want a sharp hole. You really don't want a sharp hole. You want it nice and welcoming. That's, that's the kind of hole we're looking for in life, right? A nice, welcoming hole. It's, like I'm right there, and of course it's the the pins are too fine to just kind of settle. And of course it'd be easier if I could. Oops, sorry. Oh, that's sweaty head too. Let me take off my jacket. Again, where being a little guy really comes in handy. Because if I had big hands. Unfortunately, I can't. It's, um, like, that's what I, where I always go to as well, Strider. I'm like, man, wouldn't that be great if I could just pop off the back of the case? Or maybe this top panel. But it's actually riveted in. This screw right here is actually for the... Um, five and a quarter inch drive here, I believe. But you know what? Let's pop it off just to make sure. Because you never know. It could be exactly that. No, it's riveted on. It's riveted on. Scratch my desk. Yeah, that's just for the uh, five and a quarter inch drive that I really don't need. So let's just take that out. Or no, what is? No, it's riveted on. What are, what's this to? Holding on. Now we're just going live, baby. Maybe this is holding on the connector PCB. Like front panel connector PCB? No. That's rivets. That's rivets. Bring it back down. Definitely just for the five and a quarter inch drive. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah. A little extra room. I just need a quarter of an inch to, to, to set it. Sorry guys, I think you're getting my, my elbow in your face. Yeah, it's just a little too... Let's just make sure. Rivet, rivet. Yeah, let's rivet it on. Yeah, well, I think in the manual it actually said make sure to plug in your uh, fan connector before you put it on. Let's see if I can just put it in position and shove it in there. This is where having a pair of plastic tweezers helps.
Let's go back to the chatting screen. And what we can do is we could utilize my machine cable. Hey, you guys are gonna, ah, oh, everything will be running at 100% though. Man of the tech guy, tech, tech, tech. Uh, you can see how loud it is. Oh, just tuck, tuck, tuck. Thanks for the hype. Is that I actually have a SATA connector to uh, fan connectors. I could just do one of these. Plug that in. these through do not have pretty cable management anymore Stubby. just gonna get this thing back up and running now bell knives up tap tap I did a bad job today being like, hey guys, this is how you can do stuff. I did a good job of ch telling people how not to do things. So I guess that works. Well, let's throw this fan on the field side. Guys can't tell I'm very disappointed in myself for screwing it up like that. Let's just make sure that side panel will close now. Noctua fans are, oh, they do sell their fans in a black and gray theme now because they were getting a lot of flack about it, being like, come on, guys, quit having disgusting fans. Like, everyone likes your fans, they like what you're doing, but God, they're just ugly. Mm. But beauty's in the, in the eye of the beholder. Personally, I like the uh, the brown and cream. Come on, plug in. Okay. Let's see if the side panel will go on. Side panel goes on, baby. Yeah, yeah. Don't have a glass case, Elder. No, no one can see that. No one can see that ugliness. Ooh, there's my butt. Yeah, I'm going triple fan, baby. Tight reference. I'm so tight. Wait. Put the fan on backwards. I always forget. Noctua is really cool about how they label their fans. Because they're inside the fan casing is a little confusing. So if you see there, they got those arrows. Air's going that way. Right. So 
So air is going that way. This must have been my exhaust fan. Get in there, you. Get in there, you. Get in there, you love it. Oh, it's so tight. This is my exhaust fan, right? It's my exhaust fan and I just kind of need to jam it in there. Which is what you don't want to do with holes. You don't just want to jam them in, you know what I mean? I want to make sure that you get it all lubed up before you just shove stuff in there. Actually, I mean, it's a sh this is like sharp though, you know what I mean? <laughs> Cheapo fans, but they're RGB. The RGB makes it run so much cooler. You guys have no idea. No idea. Yeah, it's, it doesn't fit anymore. You guys just don't get it. You guys just don't get the RGB. Like no, there we go. that's trying to be too manhandling it too much. Or not enough. not had this graphics card in here. Well, it's not going anywhere, so whatever. Fuck it. This shit's not going nowhere. <laughs> hey, and that's what it's all about. Get what you want, dude. That's what it's all about. Get what you want. I'm all about quiet, and this is why this is killing me, because these fans are going to be cranked at 100%. Relatively loud as fuck. Oh, that's funny. They're on the same remote. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. So, because our fans are going to be loud as fuck anyways, we might as well go all in. Let me change this to phone. That's right. We're going triple fans on this. My USB-C might have to be told to, or not USB-C, my USB 3.0 might have to be told to fuck off. Now you can't go, I can't go triple fans. If I install this right here, which is as low as it can go, it's hitting memory and some pin connectors and all that. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, baby. Oh, no, baby. Oh, the, the panel's bulging a little bit, but hey. 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 
Oh, that is that is overkill by boy. And these guys are going to be cranking at 100%. that happens not going nowhere all right oh fuck you screwdriver okay, so now we're gonna take all these fan connectors that is not a fan connector something else connector. We take all our fan connectors and try to shove them over to the side. Oh, poop. I always forget about the one in the back. Oh, shit. Not here it is. Okay. So we take are gonna try to shove all these fan connectors back. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, hook daddy mana. Hook your daddy up. Come on, don't be like that, baby. You're all lovely. You're all lovely, lovely duck. That's a that's a that's a camera angle for you guys. It's seated as well as it's gonna get. These are kind of a disaster, and I need another. They're they're not going anywhere. They're they're pretty tight on there. Just need a. An additional fan connector that I took out the other day. I think I just threw it into this. Make it out there. Let's check this other box really quick. Oh, hey, another Noctua thing. Then final thing that I got is a what is this? Another flank uh, another fan splitter, so I'm daisy chaining the shit. Just daisy chain the shit off of this connector. So connect that. This one, and there's one more. Where's the last one? Come on, don't be shy, little guy. Right, now my cable management is going to be fucking disgusting. I got spaghetti everywhere. So I'll show you guys the the sins right here. Look at that. Look at that spaghetti. It's kind of gross. But the beauty having it be a 
solid side panel is I'm just going to take said side panel. Oh man, you guys don't know. I don't know, but it's big as, aww. Are you the biggest fan, Harry? Next side panel's on. See, it's not clear. So then you guys are like, oh man. Oh shit, I wonder if man is uh, how Mana's cable management is. I bet it's super clean. I bet that guy really knows what the fuck he's doing. You don't know. How would you know? How would you know? There's no way of knowing. Side panel's on. It's secure. It's, it's, you can't look in. That's for sure. You're like, I bet it's good. Because why, why would, why would Chris ever do a shitty job? With his cable management. That doesn't seem like something Chris would ever do. He's a he's a good person. Maybe it's not sitting. How would they know? <laughs> oh someone paying attention to Donna. It's bowing out like a witch. <laughs> yeah, it's bowing out like a thirty you know, like a 32nd of an inch, you know, like so small, but like, look, look at that in there, look at that, a little bit of a bow, just a little tiny bit, but let's plug it all in, hopefully all these, oh yeah, that fan is not seated, that thing is just kind of like jammed in there, oh my, my good computer set up. Came kind of shitty, but that's okay. It happens. I'm okay with it. Because again, it's not like it actually affects performance. It's so loud now. I mean, I am in a silent room. I have no, no dis, no. Doesn't have a display. It's not good. Oh, cause the cable isn't seated. I mean, it is a silent room. When this computer's on, I've got, you know, I'm playing a game or doing something, you know what I mean? Playing a game and listening to music. Got something going on. Come on. It's acting like it wants to work. Come on, baby. Come on. Maybe I can disable the fans. Oh no, it it works. Yeah, CPU fan error, gotcha. Maybe I can disable that somehow. But, we go to monitor our CPU. 42 degrees C. Let's uh, discard changes. Okay. I'm a little blind to chat right now, so. Forgive me.
doxing myself again. All right, oh, CPU. Maybe I don't have core temp installed on here yet. I'm not connected to the internet, herp a derp. So I'm gonna have to run some tests on it to see what the uh, what the idle temperature is running at. Uh, but <laughs> really belong. Uh, it's not too loud. It's working okay. Um, it's probably probably relatively cool. Let's really thought I had core temp installed on here. Maybe task manager has CPU temperature on there. It does not. Let's restart and go back to the, the monitor portion. I mean, there's a lot of air coming off the back of this thing. A lot of air. Yeah, it's mildly ridiculous. Um. Now we're going to have to install, uh, uh, core temp, which is a CPU temperature program. And see if it's actually, all the fans are spinning. So that's good. And they're definitely spinning the right way. And there's some bounce back, but not too much. Kind of hacked together, but that works. It all works. Oh, it works. Learn some new tricks to the trade as far as streaming goes. So I'm kind of happy with that. Does your GPU have a CPU dashboard? I don't know. We're just going to connect everything and run. Um... Actually, Oh, uh, I didn't, uh, I kept on, I didn't, uh, finish what I was saying is that my desktop's networking is being used by the laptop right now. So if I unplug the laptop's networking, I'd lose you guys. Um, but if memory serves, I think I have whatchamacallit, Furmark installed on here. I think I just installed Furmark. I thought I did, anyways. Let's see here. Pretty streamlined. I have NVIDIA control panel. Let's see if NVIDIA control panel has that kind of information. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think I have Wi-Fi on this motherboard. I do have Wi-Fi on this motherboard. Try to hack that freaking password. For my Wi-Fi. Shit's crazy, man. Let's see if it can connect. It can connect even without the antennas installed. That's beautiful. Okay. So Specky. Uh, I don't like that. Core. 
Core Temp. Core Temp. I, I like Core Temp just because it's stupid lightweight, but relatively powerful still. You can, uh, gets each of the cores temperature and you can auto log it and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I am a fan. Let's launch the core temp. Uh, it's all over the place. Our min is 31 degrees C. I have the side panel off now, but it's going from like 31 degrees C up to like 40 degrees C. Like, I don't know how easy it is to see that. Let's pop my phone off the mount. Look at that. 50C, 49C, like it is jumping all over the place. 56C. So I don't know what's going on with that. But it's for your ticket. Oh yeah, paste might not be dry. Side panel's off. It most likely is. Is fiddling with the flow. Just the tips. Just the tip. I, I don't get greedy. I asked the tip, I asked the tech if it wants more than just the tip and if it's like, no, I just want the tip. I just get it. So. Fact, air the airflow because uh, a lot of it's exhausting off the top. I did put a lot of paste on there. I did do the uh, the X formation. So let's throw the convertible back on. See, Strider does know everything, guys. Like, I don't know, the CPU temps are going crazy again. It was sitting there at 32 degrees C there for a little bit. Nice and comfy. My wattage is going, cr is going crazy. That's what's having me concerned. Is that, like, my wattage... going up and down. Then it like settles down and it's at 32 degrees C, which is, hey Siri, how much is 32 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 32 degrees Celsius is 89.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. I mean, ambient temperature in the room is pretty hot. <laughs> 
and then we can start the fallout semis. Oh no, now I'm tired. I'm exhausted. This fucking sucked. This was a fucking mistake. <laughs> I am... Oh, fuck, man. Um, yeah, like... It's just kind of... It's idle, you know what I mean? Like, there, my computer's idling. It's not doing anything. And the power mo going up and down like it is kind of weirds me out. But we're at 32 degrees centigrade. Which Siri tells me is like 90 degrees in like 90 freedom degrees. So let's, let's get a torture test. Um... My torture test that I like is Geeks 3D Furmark. It's a good uh, torture test for both your CPU, or for your GPU, but also they include one for your CPU now, which is really cool. Uh, so this is how you can make sure that your GPU's kind of performing how you'd expect it to perform. Um, so then you can be like, just another good kind of benchmarking stuff to be like, okay, maybe I need to... I don't know, need to install some more drivers or make sure that my power supply is strong enough for the uh, for the graphics card that I have because if you don't have enough um, power, it's, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, CPU burner. Start. We've got a CPU. It's doing a torture test on the CPU. Um, running all 12 threads. Oops, oops, don't sign out. Fuck. Stupid Windows. Stupid Christopher. Hitting the wrong button. I know this is entertaining. You guys can't see it. I'm not really chatting with you guys either. CPU burner. Start that CPU burner. Our, our idle temperature is 32 degrees. We are now doing a full torture test on our computer. 100% uh, utilization across all 12 core, our 12 threads, six cores, 12 threads. Um, And it's maxing out at 62 degrees centigrade. Hey, Siri, how much is 62 degrees centigrade in Fahrenheit? 62 degrees Celsius is 143.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. So that's cool. As long as you're not hitting... It's like 90 degrees C. That's when you should be, like, really concerned about your CPU. So we're well below that, which... We're not, I mean, a stock cooler would be more than enough for, we're not doing any, I mean, it's a 3600 base, so you can hear the eagles screaming in the distance. Can you guys hear the fans, though? Actually, let's, let's move the baby monitor a little bit away. Like, you guys should be able to hear these fans. Be honest. No, really? You cannot hear these fans. Helps because the mic's all the way over there now. I throw on my headphones. I can still hear them over my headphones. Freedom, caca! 
Oh, so this I this is not a heavy duty uh guy at all. I actually got this super cheap actually it is kinda heavy duty. I got this thing, what is this? It's a um uh, Lamical it's an Amazon special. I just needed something for a uh tablet holder. Uh, so when the girls we we were locking the elder daughter up in a pack and play well Heather was tending to the little one when she was really little, little. And uh, she would just put this, um, click, click this bad boy onto a, put the baby in a downstairs pack and play, put a, uh, take a TV tray, clip this on there, and then have uh, the tablet here playing a, playing a video just out of her reach. Um, yeah, so just Google tablet holder. It uh, works pretty good. It's not as stable as um, like the Elgato stuff, but I think it was like 15 bucks for this, so that's pretty okay. I'm a fan. I think I think that was a fun part of the stream, seeing how the phone works. Um, oh yeah, I'm on my Macintosh. Yeah, I can I can hear it, but let's let's like play some Spotify really quick. What if I have music going or something? Oh. oh. I wouldn't hear over the sound of gameplay or anything. Yeah, it's really fucking loud. But I mean they're running at a hundred percent. These fans are running, just running. There's no idol on there. Um, I'm, I'm, I might, I might try to fiddle it. Um, oh, gate up a little on the mic. It wouldn't pick it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to fiddle my hands through there, see if I can get that done. Um, but let's turn this thing off. Um, I'm not overly concerned. Whatever. Just kind of sucks. Kind of fucked that. Kind of fucked that build up. Um, but it's okay. Had, had some fun. Learned a little bit. That's all that matters, right? Um, learning. Learn it as we're going. That is a for a sure. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. That's really all I had for the night. I mean, oh, cool. Yeah, that'd be that'd be really nice, Harry. I'd really appreciate that. Um, but hey, our memory's like super maxed, like is maxed out now on my fucking desktop. So that's cool. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah, I mean they're good. They're high quality fans, so it's there's no like high whining noise or anything like that. Um, yeah, audio settings, and then me just being grumpy about it. Um, oh well, thank you. It was it was a little stressful. I just really wish I would have remembered to freaking plug in the, those fan pins. I miss my man. Uh, like, that's such a pain in the ass. I don't want to take it out because I'm probably going to fuck something else up. But the only th way I can think of doing it is getting a chopstick setting the pin or the connector at about where the pins would be and then put the chopstick use the chopstick to press them the cpu pins in um could try that but yeah i'm just afraid of popping off the heat sink again because the CPU came with it. I was like, oh, didn't want to do that. 
and yeah. I don't know. Figure it out. See if it actually bothers me. I might just get used to it. I've been used to it just being quiet, so now it's just extra noise that I have to get used to. That's okay. Um, so let's set up a raid. I'm tired. I think I'm going to go to bed. Have a bowl of cereal. Maybe watch an episode of Deep, Deep Space Nine. Oh, thank you, Harry. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I really, I, I did have, did have some fun with this. PC ASMR. There was one, uh, stream that I bumped into that I thought was really unique. It was, uh, all it was was s someone with, like, the lo-fi, <laughs> like, lo-fi girl, low hi fi girl with, you know, I had felt like a slightly animated screen and it was just work with me. That was the title of the stream. And it was someone with, you know, you know, these kind of clickies. And yeah, it was just them working. I was like, that is really fascinating. Working and listening to the music that they were listening to. I'm like, you know what that? What? Punat dakadib not pu. Punat? Punat? About punat though? It's not the right vibe. What's a punat? Couldn't do it. I'm going to copy this. Put this right into the search bar. Is this my, is this my risky Google of the day? Paste. Where is this? What the f? That's an interesting dude. I did not expect the uh, the face mask. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. No, no, he's not. <sighs> that's funny. Uh, if you want to make new friends, <laughs> oh, I've got some online. Oh. Why? Wait, 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 wait! Does he actually have a gun? I was too busy with the. Holy shit! He does have a gun. He does just have a handgun chilling on his uh. Chilling on his freaking desk. Like, dude, are you okay, bro? Peanut the Kidnapper. Yes, yes, Strider. Strider. Um, exactly. Lo-fi music. Uh, a slightly animated scene. Um, but no, like, and just them working. And lots of good typing noises. And, um... Seems like a seems like a groovy cat. I'll I'll have to give a give a give a look out to him. Um, another another time. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to throw out my AirPods because I'm gonna be on my Macintosh because this this secondary laptop sucks. The big one, but yeah, ba baby Bigelham, if you got some honkies, I would. Love to meet some new friends. I think it's really just us cool kids in the stream anyways. No, thank you for, for watching me. I, I'm really glad that I didn't, like, fuck shit up too bad. Um, yeah. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to get a new... My friend, the Undead Dream is playing a Bayonetta. I've never, never seen the Bayonetta. That is your jam. Anything's my jam. Let's see, the Undead Dream. Yeah, let's uh, let's go raid the Undead Dream. Creator dashboard. Retro gamer, I like it. Throw in the command. Uh, raid. The undead dream. 
<laughs> oh, no problem, man. Is a couch gamer nice? That, it, no, it didn't work. Fire me. No, sounds weren't working today. I hope, hope you guys were able to hear some, but yeah, they weren't working for me. Uh, secondary, I, I threw my, like, second streamer up, like, second stream machine up in, like, ten minutes before stream. Today was hectic. Um, yeah, you gotta set up the auto mod. It's, it's actually pretty cool. I got, I have Baby Beagle Ham. I gotta get Elder Cap on that, too. I know what you meant. Like, uh, like Heather says, uh, don't hear what I say, hear what I mean. No, thank you guys. Is that how you do it, heart? But yeah, I'll see you guys over there. Probably gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Sign off. I'm tired. That was a very stressful stream. But hopefully it resolves some of our issues. And, uh, I'll see you guys over there. Deuces. I will tell Mrs. Vanna to feel better. Hopefully she's asleep. But four, three, two, one. Bye.